In this video, I want to introduce you to how we can find the expected value of a binomial distribution. And I'm going to introduce it to you through an example. So let x be the number of threes when a fair die is rolled three times. So what we have is x being binomially distributed with an n of 3, because there are three rolls of the die, and um, the probability of success, the probability of getting a 3, is 1 sixth. Okay? So what we could do is we could draw out the probability distribution in a tabular form, like when we did this with the discrete random variables. So we could set up um, a table that looks something like this. So here are my x's. Here are the probability of x being equal to each of these. So the threes could appear zero times. It could appear once. It could appear twice. Or it could appear three times. Okay? And I could work out each of these probabilities. Okay? So this one is the same as three choose zero times one sixth to the zero times five sixths to the three. Okay? So effect effectively just five sixths to the three. So that's 125 over 216. Okay? And then let's change this up. Okay, same formula, but now we're doing three choose one, one sixth to the one, and five sixths to the two. Okay, so we've got 3 times 1 sixth uh, times by 5 sixths squared, which is 25 over 72. Okay, let's change this again. So when x is 2, change that to 2, that to a 2, that to a 1. So we now have 3 choose 2, which is 3, times by 1 sixth squared and then times by 5 sixths, and that gets me 5 over 72. And then finally, now I could use the formula here, or I could just do 1 take away those three fractions, so I'll keep with the formula. Okay, just change it up. So 3 choose 3 is 1, that's 1, so it's just 1 sixth uh, cubed, and that's 1 over 216. Okay? So that is the discrete probability distribution for this binomial, okay? And that's what it would look like. Now, when we worked out the expected value of a discrete random variable, a discrete random variable before, this was the sum of the x's times by each of their probabilities. So this is 0 times 125 over 216 plus 1 times 25 over 72 plus 2 times 5 over 72 plus 3 times 1 over 216. Okay, so we could work this out. We've got this, uh, that's just 0, that's 25 over 72. And then we've got 10 over 72. And then we've got 3 over 216. And we get half. OK. So that is actually my expected value in this case. Now, this seems like a very long-winded approach. I had to, first of all, draw out a table with each of the probabilities, work each of the probabilities out. Then I had to multiply each of the x's by their probabilities and add them all together, and that gets me my answer. This is a very long-winded approach. However, is there a shortcut? Is there a way to go directly from this stage here to getting a half? Well, you'll be glad to know that there is. Okay. So, in actual fact, to get from the 3 and the 1 sixth to a half, you could just multiply the 3 and the 1 sixth together. 
and you get a half. So although this is just one example, and obviously that doesn't form a proof, what I want to show is that actually, if you just multiply the n and the p together, you will get the expected value. So in general, if x is binomially distributed with an n number of trials, the probability of success p, then the expected value, e of x, the mean, effectively, is just n times p. Okay? It's a very, very easy thing to do, and it's got a lovely formula. Okay? And that formula is also given to you in the formula booklet. So make sure you know where that is.